In this video, I'm going to show you how you can take a huge PDF, put it into a custom GPT, and then produce technical content that you would not normally be able to create just because of the nature of ChatGPT. So we're going to be doing an example here. We're going to be using the search quality evaluator guidelines for um, the, 11th, the 16th of November, 2023. Uh, I already have this downloaded. And what we're going to do is we're going to press create a GPT here. Now, this is going to be a personal GPT, personal GPT. The reason is, is that each knowledge um, base is different. So there's no point in me releasing a custom GPT to try and get people to use my custom GPT to grow the custom GPT in the store because every file is different. So it, it just wouldn't make sense. And then I've come up with a prompt here. Um, the prompt here, basically it just says, before doing anything, you must read the PDF file in order, order to understand all the science or all the data, whatever. The final article that I want you to write cannot have any scientific mistakes in it. So you must therefore first read the .pdf to ensure that you answer your answers follow the science. You can just replace science with data as well. This uh, prompt will be in the description, by the way. And that you do not make any mistakes. This is vital and you cannot do the article without first reading the .pdf. You use the .pdf file to ensure that you are writing technically specific information. You cannot make any claims that are not inside the PDF. You cannot say anything that is not scientifically correct according to the PDF. You must follow what the PDF says without plagiarizing it word for word. The PDF is basically the article I want you to write, but you have to write it in a correctly SEO optimized and formatted version and then ensure that the content generated is accurate according to the GPT. According to the, let's just say .pdf. .pdf. Okay, so that's the instructions. And then we'll just say this GPT reads a PDF and you um, can then write specific information about it. So what we're going to do is we're going to test this. So I'm going to go like some to a random point like here, and I'm going to say, uh, specific, specificity of queries and landing pages. So I'm going to say, we'll test this out. We're going to put code interpreter on as well. We'll save this again. There's no point in me doing anyone with link, uh, or sorry, everyone, because again, everyone has a different PDF. So it does work in a little bit of a different way. This works in a different way as well as dragging and dropping it on because it's using its knowledge. And the way that GBT uses knowledge is different to the way that it uses code interpreter to read uh, a PDF. So I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, what does this PDF say about and then spe specificity of queries and landing pages. So the first thing it does is it searches its knowledge. It looks probably specifically. I wish I could see what it was actually doing when it says this. Even if you press copy here, it still doesn't tell you what it's doing. So I, I'd be very, very curious. Most likely it's looking for, you know, semantical or, or uh, phrase matches for these terms that I gave it. Now this is taking a little bit longer than it was before. Previously, I've only tested this on um, a five page PDF. So this is the first time I'm doing it on like 140 pages. So I'll be very, very curious to know if this does actually work. Okay, so while that's loading, what I wanna do is I wanna show you why this is so useful. So I'm just gonna go to Google and wait, I just need to check something actually. I need to see search operators. I believe there is a search operator for file type. Yeah. So we'll do file type PDF and then in title, um, I don't know, classic menswear. So we could take something like this. I'm not saying this is a good, this is a really bad example, obviously, because guide to classic menswear brands from a Russian website, bestguide.ru doesn't really make sense, but you get, you get the idea. I'm sure you can find your, um, perfect PDF. A lot of people already have PDFs. This doesn't actually look too bad, to be honest with you. This could be a good training document as well, to be fair. This, no. So yeah, for classic men's, menswear, not as relevant, but for science niches, something that has high degrees of specificity, that kind of thing where you cannot make up content. That is what this is for. So what you can do is file type, PDF and then in title, I'm really bad at thinking of examples. 
So this is a super, super good way to get specific information from the website, from a PDF. So you can see here it's come up with, let's try and copy this because it keeps getting taken off. So the section of specificity of queries and landing pages in the provided document discusses the varying levels of specificity in search queries. It explains that some queries can be very general, while others are more specific. Some queries are very general and some queries are very specific. Here are some examples that compare levels of specificity of English US queries. General query, chair, more specific, dining room chair, even more specific, Ikea Henrik Stahl high back upholstered chair. This is directly from the PDF. It's on page 140 and ChatGPT has managed to pick up this information. This is where it gets super interesting, okay? Because now we can take PDFs, we can give, we can basically train our own custom GPT based on a PDF. And if you're working in a very difficult niche, like a science niche, let's just say, I don't know, surgical in instruments, which is, you know, pretty, pretty uh, specific niche. So we'll open some of these. You can see commonly used surgical instruments. So we could use this um, file in order to have some information about, you know, surgical instruments. To be honest with you, most people have these PDFs. If you're in science niche or finance niche, whatever it might be, you probably already have a PDF that has a lot of really, really interesting information. So the cool thing is we can then take this information and use it to write a scientifically accurate or niche accurate article. Because sometimes you can just have an article that, although it's like at, at a very surface level, it is, um, it is um, scientifically, scientifically accurate. It might not be completely accurate according to the high level of specificity needed in certain niches, if that makes sense. So now I'm just going to say, write an entire summary of this PDF. And this should give me a summary of the PDF with a high level of specificity, which I can then use to write a highly specific, relevant, and accurate article. That's kind of the idea. I just learned about this today. I only wrote this prompt today. This is a brand new thing. So if people have already been using this for a while, then yeah, fair enough. But I literally just discovered this today. I previously did not have need of writing highly specific content um, for science niches. However, we just took on a client that does need this. So that's kind of why we've been working on this. Now, I think the prompt inside the custom GPT is actually a really, really good prompt. It's really well written. I wrote it myself, so of course it's well written. But it stops any kind of... Um, it, it doesn't allow it to try and use its own knowledge, basically. The, the prompt is specifically designed to stop ChatGPT trying to fill in blanks. Because often what ChatGPT does is... It might have some information about the topic, but it doesn't have all of the information about the topic. So it kind of just gives, if, if it's missing a piece of information, it will fill in that blank with its own knowledge. But this is a specifically designed prompt to stop it from doing that. So what you can do is you can do a number of things. Probably the best way to do this is to get an overall summary and then ask for uh, specifics in each section use that as an outline and then write an article about how does Google evaluate search quality. And then you can use this outline as your outline. So I'm going to say for each section now, please give me specific points and data from the PDF. Now I'm probably not going to let this run because this will take quite a long time because again, it will search its knowledge just because of the nature of the prompt. But what I'm expecting it to do is for the first one, we'll probably let it run just the first one. It will say page quality rating, and then it will give 
specifics about how Google does the page quality rating. Okay, that's kind of the point of this whole process. So it's literally been three or four minutes and it's still searching knowledge, which is a really, really good sign. Because the last thing you want, like I said before, is for it to make up information, try and fill in the gaps by itself. Now, I have been asked a million times, how can I get a accurate piece of content about a specific niche? Now, I, what I'm going to say is go and find a PDF on the topic that you want to write about. Put it inside your own personal GPT with the prompt in the description and then just follow the process that I showed you in today's video. The end result, you'll have an outline for an article and then you can use one of the millions of different ways of writing articles. Just make sure that it's specifically holding on to the information from the PDF. Okay, so now we can see that the specifics start to come out, okay? It, it's, unfortunately, this does, this does happen sometimes when either code interpreter or knowledge um, runs for too long. But a way to get around this, I'll show you in a second. But you can see the specifics here. Page quality PQ and needs met NM. So a way to get around this is to refresh this. And then instead of pressing regenerate like most people do, just say continue here. And then it'll actually continue. And it normally doesn't um, do the knowledge thing again, but it, it might do. Sometimes it runs code interpreter. Yeah, so it has done that this time. But that's okay. And then we just wait and then we get the rest of the specifics out. And that's how you get the specifics out of a PDF using ChatGPT, using uh, the new assistance API or in the front end, the assistance, uh, the, the custom GPT creator. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you probably tomorrow with some more content. If you're watching all the way to the end, as usual, you're a legend. And I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out.